Hello and welcome and thank you for joining. Today we're going to look at a use case for after insert update record triggered flow. And if you are just getting started with the flows um, and if you want to learn about when to use before, when to use after insert and update or different types of flows, I do have a flow 101 playlist so please uh, feel free to check that out. Uh, for this video we're going to focus uh, purely on this use case. So um, I do have the data model here but this is not a true representation of the actual schema so this is just for illustration um, the requirement here is if a milestone is created with a user then insert the same user as an opportunity team member so as you can see the opportunity team member or the opportunity teams in the related list has a lookup to opportunity and user so anytime i insert a milestone this is a custom object that i created um, anytime i insert a milestone related to that opportunity i also want to insert the opportunity team member for that same user. So looking at it from Salesforce point of view, uh, we have the opportunity and the team, opportunity team and milestone. So anytime I insert a milestone, so I have fields, I have a user field. If I create a milestone uh, with a lookup to user, an opportunity is required, so I don't have to check for that. What I want to do is create an opportunity team member for that same user and for the same opportunity so um, and we're going to pick uh, flows because flows are way faster than process and this is not we don't need to build a trigger for this so we're going to go with the flow um, okay let's come to setup click new flow i do have a flow built out but i just for demonstration i want to show uh, step by step here that could trigger flow and then I like the free form better at least now. So we are here now in this flow builder. Um, before we start actually creating the flow, uh, coming back to the requirement, since this is the related object, there is a chance that people can put uh, multiple milestones for the same user. So I come in and put one milestone for my name and then somebody else comes in put another milestone for my name. So uh, the question you should ask is, whether or not you want to insert the opportunity team members multiple times for that same milestone. Um, so because if the user is same, you don't want to have same opportunity team members. Or maybe that's probably the requirement, but more than likely that won't be the case. So uh, instead of just inserting the opportunity team members blindly, we also want to check if it already exists or not. So that's a little if, if, if uh, decision making that you need to do while creating the flow. So with that in mind, Let's come back here and choose object. So choose object is basically what is going to fire your flow. So in this case, it is milestone because we are going to trigger this on the creation of milestone. And then you have to, you're going to check user is making sure that user is not empty because that's what we're basing everything off of. And if the user is required for you, then you don't need to check this. And the opportunity is not empty as well if opportunity is not required. In my case, opportunity is required, so I'm going to skip that. And then you need to get opportunity team members just to check that if it does not already exist. Let's get opportunity team member, write a description here, and then opportunity team member. And this is where we're going to say, okay, get me the opportunity team member for that opportunity and that user. So first option, opportunity ID equals. And this is where, since you are using a before or after update, any record triggered flow will have this dollar symbol record. So that means it's carrying all the fields for that milestone. So you can just say record.opportunity. And then also user. That's another parameter we are looking for so user is equal to record dot user okay so we got two and then I'm fine returning just the first record because all I want to check is whether or not the opportunity team member already exists so first record is fine in this case but usually in this scenario you would be getting all records the difference here is all records meaning it will return you a list of records, list of opportunity members. Only the first record means 
you're only getting one record. So in this scenario, it doesn't really matter um, whether if I return all records or first record, because as long as there is something returned, I don't want to do anything. So I'll just keep it to only the first record. Hit done. Connect this arrows. So now we got the opportunity number. Now I have a decision to make. Um, so bring your decision element here and check opportunity team member. Opportunity team member exist. Okay, so we're saying if the team member exists or does not exist, you can do either way, it does not matter. Does not exist. So now I'm gonna say, okay, we got that record variable. So we have different options here. So it says is no. We can try that. So opportunity team member is no. Is false or is true because we are saying it's like double negatives. So we're saying opportunity member does not exist. That will mean that this will be null because if it existed, it wasn't null. So we're saying opportunity member is null, is true. It done. So that means we are just checking if this is going to return anything or not. Okay, so now we are just left to create the actual opportunity member. So there's a create record, so we can drag and drop that and create opportunity team member. So how many records do we want to create? We just want to create one record and there are options here. I just want to use separate resources and literal values because we don't we are not doing anything dynamic here. So I just want, want to insert opportunity team member and set the values. So here we are gonna say ID equals whatever we had in that record uh, milestone dot opportunity ID because that will have the opportunity ID. And then the user will be record dot user ID and the role equals let's just say it's account manager should be one more field access level okay so we assign all the values here hit done now this is why I wanted to say opportunity member does not exist, otherwise you'll have the default outcome. But in this case, I'm saying if opportunity team member does not exist, give me, create the records for me. Otherwise it will not do anything. So hit save. So usually with the, with the auto launched, uh, record triggered flow it's good good idea to actually put the object name because there is no filter at the moment i am creating i did create an idea and i'll say, share the link with you so you can vote on it so to be able to actually filter by object so add a description and hit save and obviously we want to activate it before testing it out we activated it now let's go to opportunity here and I'm going to create a milestone with somebody else that's not me. So let's pick a random user, test, hit save. Now, if everything worked fine, that should create a new opportunity team member. I'm gonna hit refresh here. And let's see. All right, so we have Andy Young as account manager because that's what I defined in that uh, flow. Now let's test what if it Andy Young already existed. So I'm just gonna create another one and add the same user again. 
and see if it actually clears one more. It shouldn't, because we, we specifically said that don't create it if it already exists. Okay, so we, we still have only two opportunity team members. Great. All right, so um, I hope that was helpful. And just to give you an idea on how I landed on here, I actually started making it so complicated. So as you can see, I have opportunity team, I, I queried out all the opportunity team, and then I started looping through it um, to get the opportunity team user IDs, and then I was trying to do the decision there. And then outside of it, there was another decision. So as you can see, it's very easy to get, get it, uh, make it super complicated. Uh, but then as I was recording the video, I thought, okay, why, why can't I just query it at, right at the beginning and get the records directly here and then make a decision? So as you do it multiple times, there are definitely more than one ways to do this, uh, solve the same problem. But um, as you can see, I went from this to another step where I removed some of these processes and I only had two elements, and then I went to this. So it definitely takes uh, several trials uh, or several iterations. Once you get the solution, um, then you can start think about how you can simplify it. I just wanted to share this um to encourage anyone who who is trying who is struggling with the flows i just didn't land on this specific one we went i went through some iterations of it and then when i was doing i was like okay uh i'm able to actually just do it this way so just wanted to share that thank you so much for watching and please let me know if you have any